Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I have a prepping tip coming up for you in just a moment, but before that I want to let you know that at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time tonight we're doing the Patreon-only live stream for the Project Homestead series. If you're a Patreon member and you have any questions about homestead building, retreat building, or what's going on in the series, hop over to patreon.com slash praxisprepper and you can get the link to go to that live stream. And after the fact I'll be sharing it out to everybody else. This is a thank you for the people that support this channel on Patreon. So if you're a Patreon supporter, make sure you head over there and I'd love to hear from you and we can chat tonight at 8.30. And now, here's a prepping tip. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. I'm getting ready to head out to our homestead building site this morning with River. We go together every morning and I like to pack some food for him. Now I am planning on having a video coming up about how to make a really awesome cooler like this. I built this myself, it only cost a few dollars, and this will last for three to four days if you put uh, you know, a decent amount of ice in it, uh, keeping things cold best cooler I've ever used, and again, just a few dollars. I'm gonna do a video about that later, but I know a lot of people have these kind of coolers, just these little flip top ones. I pulled this one out of a dumpster when I was camping at some point, someone just thrown it away. Apparently they got it at Disney World. It's not the best cooler, but you know, when they threw it away, it was just as good as the day they bought it, they just didn't want it anymore. Um, but still, not a very good cooler. If you have something like this and you want to improve it, one way that you can do that is by putting in uh, these sort of mailers, these plastic mailers. This is just some bubble pack kind of mailer. Uh, this acts as insulation. In fact, a lot of these, I think that's what's inside of it. <laughs> it's just bubble pack insulation. But if you want to improve one of these and you have some of these mailers, just take them and fold them down inside of them you can put a couple different layers in it oftentimes uh, these things will have like a little like a plastic inset and then you can put that over it and you know just by adding a little bit of that you're going to take a cooler that's not really great and turn it into something that's still probably not that great but it'll be a little bit better that's it just a quick tip on saving money getting your food to last a little bit longer but like i said coming up soon we'll be doing a video about how to make one of these crazy things that is as effective as one of those super expensive Yeti coolers, but just a couple of dollars. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.